The Wurma Python, Aspidids ramsayi, also known as Ramses Python and Sand Python, is a species of snake endemic to Australia. Once common throughout Western Australia, it has become critically endangered in some regions. The generic name, Aspidids, translates to shield bearer in reference to the symmetrically shaped head scales. The specific name, Ramsayi, is in honor of Australian zoologist Edward Pearson Ramsey. Adults typically are around 1.5 meters, 4.5 feet, in total length. The head is narrow and the eyes small. The body is broad and flattish in profile while the tail tapers to a thin point. The dorsal scales are small and smooth, with 50-65 rows at midbody. The ventral scales are 280-315 in number, with an undivided anal plate, and 40-45 mostly single subcaudal scales. Some of the posterior subcaudals may be irregularly divided. The color may be pale brown to nearly black. The pattern consists of a ground color that varies from medium brown and olive to lighter shades of orange, pink, and red overlaid with darker striped or brindled markings. The belly is green more light yellow with brown and pink blotches. The scales around the eyes are usually a darker color than the rest of the head. A. Ramsay may reach a total length of 2.3 meters, 7.5 feet, with a snout vent length of 2.0 meters, 6.6 feet. Snakes of the genus Aspidids lack the heat-sensing pits of all other pythons. A. Ramsay is similar in appearance to A. Melanocephalus, but without an obvious neck. The coloration or desire to locate this species may lead to confusion with the venomous species Sudana anatulis, commonly known as the Gwarda dot found in Australia in the west and centre of the country from Western Australia through Southern Northern Territory and Northern South Australia to Southern Queensland and Northwestern New South Wales. Its range may be discontinuous. The type locality given is near Forte Book, New South Wales, Australia. The range in Southwest Australia extends from Shark Bay, along the coast and inland regions, and was previously common on sand plains. The species was recorded in regions to the south and east, with once extensive wheat belt and goldfield populations. This species is classified as endangered, N, on the ACNA Red List of Threatened Species. A species is listed as such when the best available evidence indicates that a population reduction of at least 50% has occurred over the last 10 years or three generations, whichever is the longer based on a decline in area of occupancy, extent of occurrence and or quality of habitat. It is therefore considered to be facing a very high risk of extinction in the wild. The Adelaide Zoo in South Australia is coordinating a captive breeding program for the species, and the offspring raised have been released into the arid recovery reserve in the state's north with no success due to mulga snake, Sudcus australis, predation. Many populations in the southwest of the country, since the 1960s, became critically endangered by altered land use. The sharp decline in numbers, without an authenticated record since 1989, was most notable in the wheat belt areas. This species is largely nocturnal. By day this snake may be found sheltering in hollow logs or under leaf debris. When traveling across hot sands or other surfaces it lifts its body off the ground and reaches far forward before pushing off the ground again, having only a few inches of its body touching the ground at a time. Oviparous, with 5 to 20 eggs per clutch, females remain coiled around their eggs until they hatch, with the incubation period lasting two or three months. An adult female about four to five years old and five feet about 1.5 meters, in total length usually lays about 11 eggs. Considered to be more active than many pythons, as well as being a very docile and easy to handle snake, the Wuma is highly sought after in the reptile and exotic pet trade. They are one of the hardiest python species in captivity, often enthusiastically accepting prey and other items.
one made headlines in May 2015 for requiring surgery to remove the feeding tongs it had swallowed as well as its meal. Although it is considered to be an endangered species, mainly due to the destruction of its natural habitat, this snake will breed in captivity.